Islamic sources, check out David Lin. On Christian sources, check out David Lin. Thank you for the free publicity. I love it. Good publicity and bad publicity is always good publicity. Thank you for pushing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank David Lin. This guy's name is David Lin. L-Y-N-N. He went to the UK. He couldn't debate Muslims. He failed miserably. Just go to YouTube. Type in David Lin exposed. Everyone say David Lin exposed. David Lin exposed. Man, what's your name? <laughs> Muhammad. Hey, Muhammad. Casey, Listen, right. Muhammad, I have nothing against you. Okay. I didn't come for you. I don't know you. Look, I, I'm preaching what can I, I got to preach. Can I say something? Do you, know, do you know the story of Jesus Christ when the woman from Samaria, I don't know where she was from, and she came down to Jesus Christ, yeah? And then he, and then he said that, you know, because you're not from the gen, if you're a Gentile, sure. I don't, I don't preach my message to the dogs. I hope that yeah. you're not, I'm not, I hope you're not taking that kind of sentiment now and thinking I'm so, some kind of dog. Because here I'm trying to ask you a question as a Christian. Now, whether you think, that I am allowed to have a conversation with you or not, you've come to a place where literally conversation is the key. Sure. So you could have- And this whole place, people are listening. Do you get me? So I, look, the thing is, what my friend told me, he comes from Canada as well, which I'm guessing you're from, yeah? Sure. He told me that you're, what you do online is that you go to people who have very weak English skills, who are Muslims, and then you interrogate them on the streets of Toronto. Now my point is, look, here we are specialized in, in polemics and debate. You've come to the right place to discuss with Muslims their religion. So now, which one? Are you talking about the, the Samaritans look, or the debate? No. Nah, I think you know what I'm saying here. No, okay, go, I'll, let, I'll listen. Okay, what I'm saying to you here and now. Hello, I just want to explain what's uh, happening behind me. I'm Sadat Anwar. I'm here at uh, Hyde Park Speaker's Corner where every Sunday Muslims and Christians uh, come together to discuss, talk and debate. Um, but behind me, there's another uh, gentleman from Toronto. His name is Pastor David Lin. Um, he not only opposes Islam, but he goes on right-wing news channels like Sun News Media and things like this, scaremongering against Muslims. In Toronto, he shows up at Muslim festivals. He's outside with a megaphone or a speaker, and he's preaching against Islam. He's promoting Christianity and so forth. Um, so I noticed that he's visiting uh, London as well. He came here to Speaker's Corner. So I was hoping that now, since he's always ready to debate people in Toronto on the streets, what he does on the streets is he usually has a microphone and he says, can any Muslim explain to me um, how come Jesus is the only prophet who didn't die? How come he's the only one who's coming at the end of times? And then he stops some kind of casual Muslim tourist. Who's here? Who's here as a Muslim? Uh, he lets him say a few words on the mic and then he comes back on and says, see, the Muslim can't answer the question. He can't even answer this. You see what happens? Every time, every time you hold a Muslim to something, they will not let you read their own book. So I was expecting that now he had an opportunity to debate with the Muslim brothers here at Speaker's Corner, but he did no such thing. He came, he just kind of said hello. Every time he saw one of the known debaters like Hamza, uh, like Hashim, he would just say hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll talk to you later on, and he would move on. Preaching man with that mic. Yeah, that's me. It looked to me though you're switching the mic off when you put it on the other geezer, but that might just be me, and you have a loud voice. Just listening, man. Observing what you guys got there. No, on the video I'm saying, because you were talking, yeah. and your voice seemed to come out of the speaker. The when you put the mic on the other geezer, it just sounded like he was talking. It sounded like the speaker. <laughs> uh, shady tactic. That. So what's the good news? What, what are you here for? No, I'm just checking, observing what you guys are all talking about. I was I was challenging the um, you, you can step in the ring no problem. We were discussing the the Gospel of Matthew and whether the author of the Gospel can be relied upon. Maybe you can uh, elaborate well, a little this bit. This is Hamza's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, very soon. I'm going to observe uh, first. And see yeah, yeah. Well, let me just leave you with the question, if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, I, I believe it. I know you believe it, yeah. but that doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, it's good. I know. But you why don't do you believe, believe it's it? true? No, but why do you believe it's true? Because I believe uh, that uh, it's the word of God. Why do you believe that? I challenge anyone to bring a superior way of life than Islam. Yeah. Can't anyone. Cleaner, healthier living, bring it. Awesome. I don't see any. Right. Bring any way of life that marries up with my. Um, criteria for how a creator of the heavens and earth should be. Did you become a Muslim? What's your story? I said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. No, I mean, what, <laughs> no, what, no, what, what happened? Like, what to be honest with you, my story's long. If you, I've got a YouTube channel, EF Tawa. If you go on there, you can see the full thing. I just want you to show me why you believe yeah, what yeah, you're no. reading is reliable. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to... So I'm, I'm walking around, I'm going to be here. I would say about stories and uh, the reasons why. Make sure it's not just based on experience. Yeah. Don't, don't think you've seen something, you heard something, you had a vision of something, you dreamt something, yeah? Because this is 
his own methods of deception. Because your eyes, your hearing, your senses can all be fooled. Yeah? It's got to be reasoned. We're in the 21st century here. We don't believe Thor strikes the clouds with his hammer and causes thunder and lightning. Yeah? We reason in this day and age. This is why Thor no longer exists. This is why Odin no longer exists. Because we've reasoned past that. See, when someone believes something, they have a right to believe it. Okay? And they don't even need to have evidence for what they believe. But they need a reason. Now, if that reason is questioned, then it seems to be illogical or irrational and doesn't make any sense. And you can show that it's illogical and irrational and doesn't make any sense. And they continue to hold that belief. They're now delusional. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I asked you why you believe what you believe, and you said, just do. It don't work that way. You weren't born well, believing. I mean, you can't think for yourself to be a Muslim. Is that the case? Yeah, a known Islamophobe in Toronto. He preaches on the street. And it's funny, when I went now and I pointed out to him that how come you're not ready to debate now? Because in Toronto, you're ready to debate with women, with hijabis, with people who can't speak English. Now you had a chance to speak uh, and to debate with Muslims who speak English. You should be looking forward to this. Um, you know, he just responded by saying, I know this guy, he's talking about me. He said, I know this guy. David, David, when you're in Toronto. We know each other from Toronto. When yeah, you're in Toronto, he's that. a so pastor that. from Toronto. Oh, fantastic. Following me all around, he to debate. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. When you're in Toronto on Dundas Square, sure. preaching against Islam and Muslims on the megaphone, he does this okay, every okay. week. I've seen on YouTube. Yeah, please cut to the chase and, and ask him the questions that you have about Islam and Muslims. What are the things you preach questions. about? What are, the, what are the things you preach about in Toronto? No, I don't have questions. You don't have any. What, what are your comments about this? Who's here? Who's here as a Muslim? I've seen, I've seen his second rate. I've seen his second rate David Wood regurgitated nonsense. I've no, seen but that. Over there, you have a microphone sure. and you invite Muslims to debate you, correct? Sure. You do that. Sure. So now the right time sure. to debate. And I will. You will? But I'm, I'm observing first. Let me observe. Let me observe. I like to fish. Okay. okay. Is this because you're insecure that I'm going to give you an answer, or, or is this your is this your Islamic respect? Like, what is this? Adnan Rashid challenged him to a debate that you guys have on the video. Adnan was asking him to debate. He absolutely refused. So my point is that in Toronto, when he's unchallenged on the streets, he stops any Muslim anytime a hijabi walks by. He asks questions about Islam. Um, and he wants to debate with them. But now that he had the opportunity to debate, Suddenly, oh no, I'm not here to debate. I just want to preach my testimony. I just want to preach about Christ. But if you go and listen to him, he's not preaching about Christ. He's still talking about Islam. He's still talking about why the Quran doesn't make sense and Prophet Muhammad doesn't make sense, sallallahu alayhi wa and so forth. So it just shows you how disingenuous some of these missionaries are. He's ready to debate every week on the streets in Toronto. But now he has an opportunity to debate. There's a park full of Muslims willing to debate him, waiting to debate him. And he's literally, he's gone outside of the park and he's now preaching on the sidewalk. So basically he picks on weak Muslims. Who would he picks on the weak Muslims and now when he, when he had an opportunity to debate with Muslims who are, uh, you know, who are used to debating, mm. he, he literally refused to do it. I mean, he was surrounded by Muslims. He refused to do it. And if I know him well, I suspect that he will put a video up of it as well. But it'll be titled Muslim Mob Attacks. Yeah, he will chop it. Will he edit yeah. it and stuff? Muslim Mob, uh, you know, attacks. Yeah. Uh, 